Oh no, little kitty. You won't be able to find fang-toothed fish within our diving limits. Why? Because these fishes live way deeper down the ocean. And the ocean is very, 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 very deep. We will need some super power to go there. How oh, deep? Well, to know that, we need to dive deeper. Hey friends, in today's episode, let us explore the uncharted depths of the mysterious water and answer a deep question. How deep is the ocean? Dive in! As we know historically, there are four ocean basins that include the Pacific, Atlantic, Indian and the Arctic Oceans. But in reality, these four oceans are just part of a single supergiant water body surrounding the Earth. This giant ocean covers almost 71% of the Earth's surface. And you won't believe it also contains 99% of the Earth's biosphere, which is the life-supporting stratum of the Earth's surface. This also means that the rest of the living organisms, including trees, animals and even you, live on only 1% of the biosphere. Which gives us a glimpse of the ocean's vastness and deepness. But the vital question is, just how deep is it? Well, over the years, Scientists have ventured into the oceanic depths and they have divided it into different parts starting from the uppermost layer called the Sunlight Zone or Epipelagic Zone. This is the area where there is enough sunlight. It stretches between 0 to 650 feet beneath the sea's surface and is home to endless species including the blue whales who hunt at depths of around 330 feet. And as we dive deeper, the sunlight begins to fade and we enter the twilight zone or mesopelagic zone, which expands from approximately 650 feet to 3,300 feet below the surface of the ocean. Scuba diving at this point is dangerous for humans as the pressure is 26 times greater than on the Earth's surface, which would explode our lungs. But it's still home to many aquatic species, including giant squids, small shrimps and Kitty's favorite fang-tooth fish. Below twilight comes the midnight zone or the bathy pelagic zone that stretches from 3,300 feet to approximately 13,100 feet. This is a point where light doesn't reach at all and is engulfed in impenetrable darkness, hence the name the Midnight Zone. To survive in such a low-light environment, Many species, like the jellies, produce their own light through a process known as bioluminescence to avoid being eaten and attract prey. Next comes the abyssal zone that extends from 13,100 feet to 19,700 feet and is the pitch black bottom layer of the ocean. It gets its name abyss from a Greek word meaning no bottom, because they thought the ocean was bottomless. Three quarters of the area of the deep ocean floor lies in this zone. And below it, we come to the deepest zone of the ocean, which we call the Trench Zone or Hadalpelagic Zone. The Hadalpelagic Zone extends from 19,700 feet to the very bottom at 36,070 feet in the Mariana Trench off the coast of Japan. Over here, the temperature is constant at just above freezing, 
and it has the deepest point known to humans called the Challenger Deep. But despite the challenges, the scientists were shocked to find a tiny single-celled organism called Foraminifera, a type of plankton living in the bottom of the ocean. But as we know, a significant part of this magical ocean is yet to be discovered and who knows what we might find out someday. Trivia time! Did you know the average depth of the ocean is about 12,100 feet? Also, it is said Mount Everest would fit into the Mariana Trench with a mile or so to spare. Hope you learned something new in today's episode. Until next time, it's me, Dr. Binox, diving out. Let's go deep. Ah, oh, never mind.